Hello traders, FX Pipcoletti here. Today is Friday, April 21st, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, let me tell you about my Forex trading course available to all gold Patreon members. The link for that can be found up here in the corner. So on the pound dollar, I still think this is going to end up growing into a trend. I think it's going to end up looking something like that, most likely taking out these highs. Probably going to end up being a big wave A or possibly a big wave 1. Whether it's a wave A or whether it's a wave 1 definitely doesn't matter right now because either way we're going to be looking for longs on sort of time frames. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, I think on the weekly time frame this is all a wave 1. I think this is a wave 2. And I believe that this move up that we're getting is all part of a wave three i definitely don't see any reason to think that three is over it has been going down for the past couple weeks but i do believe that's just a crutch into the uptrend and i do believe that eventually it's going to go up take out these highs and end up looking something like that to make a one two three four and five of a or wave one so taking it down to the daily time frame on the daily time frame, like I said, we have been going down, but we still have not really broken any struts yet. The uptrend is definitely still not proven to be over, and since the uptrend is not proven to be over, I'm still bullish, so if I see it turn up, I would definitely take that as a long opportunity. I think we're in the middle of a wave 3, and I think this pullback is just a subdivision, a correction of that wave 3, and it will just end up continuing up. So taking it down to the 4-hour time frame. So on the 4 hour time frame, I'm pretty confident this first move down is an A. This very corrective at an up looks to me like it's all part of a wave B, which is probably end right there. And we're probably actually going down now for a wave C. Most wave Cs do go around the 100 or the 78%, but they do often make higher lows, maybe even make a double bottom at the 61.8. So if you see this bounce off one of these fib levels, make an impulsive move up, take out Strutzer, I would definitely take that as the end of an A. ABC correction, and that would be a really good trading opportunity for the continuation of the uptrend. So taking it down even more to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, we had a nice impulsive down. Like I said, we had a very corrective price action this week, but in hindsight, we can kind of see that it's an A, and then an A, B, C, D, E of B, and then this is a C, so it is an A, B, C of wave B. Now I think we're going down for what I think is a wave C. We are bouncing off to 50%. But really, I don't see any reason to think yet that it's over. So if I do see something like this, if I see a nice big impulsive move up, if I see a break of Strutzer, if I see it holding and closing above Strutzer, that will tell me that the wave C is over, which it may not happen here. It could go down to the 61, or it could even go further to the 78.6. But if I see that at one of those Fibonacci levels, then that's definitely the entry that I'm looking for for the continuation of this uptrend. Higher time frames are still telling me that the trend is up. Shorter time frames, A, B, C down and positive up is exactly what I'm looking for for entries to go long. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.